today I'm carving in Canto themed pumpkin that my two daughters have been begging me to do and I'll be talking you through this carve step by step. First I'm going to print my design off in the size that I want. This is going on a fairly large pumpkin so I've printed it out over two A4 pages and just sticking them together. I'll then trim the design, stick it to some transfer paper and tape the design to my pumpkin. I'm using picture for this one, but I'm also building some stencils for you to download. They will have all the shaded areas mapped out, which hopefully will make it a little bit easier for you to carve. Check out the link below to find out more about my stencils. But if you want to just use a picture, you're looking to pick out all the tonal changes in the lighting of the subject. Check out this video on my channel after this one. If you want to find out more about Lambert its law of emission which is a fairly important principle to understand when shading anything. I'll use a ballpoint pen to trace over the design. Now if you put too much detail on you'll find it very confusing once you remove the stencil. It's really a balancing act between getting just enough detail on, something which can take a little bit of practice. Here's what I've picked out from this picture as my guidelines. I'm going to fade between the picture and the source image so you can see what, what I've picked out. So for example these areas in green on the nose and forehead are, are my guide for what the, where the bright parts are going to be. And I will be carving deeper into the pumpkin making them brighter which in turn will create the illusion of perspective and make the tip of the nose seem a bit closer to the person that will be looking at the pumpkin giving the illusion that it's you know a 3d form instead of just a flat image next i'm going to put a light in my pumpkin uh, and carve with the light already inside so i can see how bright the areas are as i'm carving there's a video uh, on my channel looking at the various lights i use which I'll, I'll also link down below now i use wood carving chisels and lino cutters to carve real pumpkins and always start by skimming details onto the pumpkin very lightly with a, a small lino cutter first now the face and the hair on this one are, are going to be the hardest parts to carve so to get warmed up I'm going to start with some of the easier parts in this case the shirt and the lace detail on a top I've learned the hard way that starting with difficult areas at the beginning of a carving session is a good way to make mistakes like anything it's a good idea to get warmed up with an easier part first Then I'm going to skim over the hair. At this stage, it'll just be a series of very faint guidelines, which I can use as a reference later on. Doing this will also ensure that I don't accidentally rub off the design when I'm carving other parts, uh, you know, around the face. Once the hair pattern is skimmed on to the pumpkin, I'm going to then turn my attention to the face and, and skim on some guidelines there. Being careful not to accidentally rub off the design with my hand. Now I'm right handed so I tend to work from the right hand side over to the left. I then lightly remove just the very outer layer of the pumpkin skin between the guidelines. I know I'm not going very deep into the pumpkin yet. I'm more mapping out where the brighter areas will be and where the tonal changes will happen. Once I've done that, I remove any loose bits uh, with a paintbrush and start to go deeper into the pumpkin. I'm starting with the tip of the nose and the eyes first and then working my way backwards to the darker areas. Now every pumpkin will uh, let different amounts of light through depending on the variety you're carving and also how thick the pumpkin walls are. I can already tell that I want this design to be much brighter. So instead of carving deeper into the pumpkin, I'm gonna brighten the whole thing up by by you know, hollowing it out thinner uh, from the inside with a spoon. Now I won't take too much off at this stage because it's something. This is a th something which I'll do again later on in the car. I'm 
starting with the tip of the nose and the eyes first and then working my way backwards to the darker areas If you've ever seen any of my other videos, you'll know that hair is something I'm continuing to try and perfect. For this one, I'm going to simply carve a series of curved lines following the guidelines which I made earlier on to give the suggestion of clumps of hair ringlets rather than individual strands of hair. I'm then going to continue to carve the rest of the shirts and the hands. Now, hands are something uh, which is, um, you know, con again, continuing to work on myself. I'll probably do a whole video devoted to hands at some point uh, because it can be quite tricky. But the best way to think of them is a series of simple geometric shapes, uh, you know, with the section between uh, your knuckles being um, you know, cylinders and the knuckles themselves being balls, sim similar to what you, how you would draw a hand. This pumpkin is huge, so I'm also going to add a couple of other characters. Bruno on the left hand side and Lisa on the right hand side and to do this I'm simply going to repeat the process and um, the same process for each character Nay Rose oh yeah I'm finna pop yeah baby hit the spot like summer and some dipping dots jackpot sound coming at you through a different slot you can try your luck but end up missing from a liver shot oh yeah Oh, baby, it's my seat. This pumpkin ended up taking nearly 20 hours to carve over the course of three days. It took way longer than I expected. By the time I got to Lisa, I needed to move on to a commission job that I had booked in. So unfortunately, I ended up rushing her a little bit, and I think it really shows. I'm not very happy with how she turned out, which is, is a huge shame. Towards the end, I'm going to start thinning out the pumpkin again and make everything much brighter. And finally, I want to add some additional contrast where the hair meets the face and a few other areas like the, the pupils of the eyes, you know, inside the mouth. Now for the hair, I don't want this too dark, so I'm going to add some permanent marker pen and while the ink is still wet, I'm gonna smudge it with my finger to soften these dark areas slightly. For the most part, I'm happy with how this pumpkin turned out. But as always, I think there's a lot of room for improvement in some areas. Uh, I could have also, you know, I could have honestly spent another 20 hours messing around with this pumpkin. Um, and it's a shame I didn't have more time to carry on with this. I hope you found this video useful. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you next time. That's just what it is. I ain't gotta lie to you. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. I ain't gotta lie to you. No.